Here's our men's national team reporter Matthew Shinetti at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Matthew, how significant is Tuesday's friendly against Mexico? Well, let's put the historical context on the table, Jay. It was 67 years since Canada beat the Americans on U.S. soil. It's been 24 years since they beat the Mexicans on U.S. soil. This is just another signpost on the road to 2026. And even though Mexico is going through a bit of a transition period right now, beating the Mexicans is huge. The Americans and the Mexicans are still the class of CONCACAF. The Americans are ranked 16th. Mexico is ranked 17th in the world. And beating them gets you those world ranking points, gets that ranking in CONCACAF up a little bit. But it also kind of establishes that confidence within the team that they themselves now can really feel that they're challenging the U.S. and the Mexicans to be the top dog in CONCACAF. Now you were with the team in this very same building in the summer for their memorable Copa America quarterfinal win over Venezuela. But even though that was just a couple of months ago, how has Canada's confidence continued to evolve, Matthew? I asked Stefan Estacchio this today in an earlier availability where this team's confidence is, whether or not they consider themselves the informed team in CONCACAF. And he pushed that aside and said, what we're doing now is building belief. Jesse Marsh said it after the American game that this is only a taste of what Canada is capable of. And then in that first half, they dominated the U.S. Probably should have been up 3-0. But the fact is, they're going to make mistakes. Marsh admitted this, but if they make the right kind of mistakes, it'll grow their confidence. And to a point about AT&T Stadium, this is a significant place for the Canadian men's national team because beating Venezuela in the quarterfinals of Copa America was significant to building this team's identity, knowing that in big pressure moments, they can execute that, irrespective of who they face. And yes, they did lose to Argentina in the semifinals, then Uruguay in the third place game, but they also kind of felt like, I hate to say it, those moral victories because of the way that Canada played those two games. So this isn't the fully formed Canada yet, as Stefan Estacchio was alluding to. This is a team that keeps believing that what Jesse Marsh is selling them, coaching them, really pushing them to try to achieve, that they can actually succeed doing it. Matthew, thanks for this. Make sure to try the tacos at the stadium. I hear they're delicious.